checking in to see what hot commodities are moving now for Photon Hypernova. And uh, some of those lost art prices are getting a little bit interesting. Make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. So I wanted to check back in here on Photon Hypernova. Been a wee little while since we've had a little bit of an insight as to what's been going on on, you know, this side of the market. And straight away, I mean, I shouldn't be surprised to see the Galaxy Dragon. The Ghosts were also wiped off of the market here. Um, though, it looks like we have some cheaper quantities starting to generate here. Maybe buy list stuff, but that's interesting. This looks absolutely gorgeous. I honestly would love to see this as a Platinum or Prismatic Seeker right here. But these are cratered off the market. And then the regular version, or the Prismatic Seeker version for this guy is also cratered off. I guess people are anticipating waves of success with um, what's to come for this. Because, I mean, this is generic insect slash plant support. So maybe they're trying to get ahead of the curve here for uh, the Trap Trick stuff. I don't know. The Gishki monster, still only like 60 bucks. That one's actually real cool. Now see, this got cratered off the market. Yikes. All right, well, I see, well, wow, even the perfectly ultimate Great Moth Little Fusion guy got bought out. Huh, interesting. And the Valiants got bought out, lol. It's interesting. Wow, Mr. Sargas got bought out too for the higher rarity. And then this doesn't surprise me. This card looks gorgeous in Prismatic. Yikes. Well, once again, I'm not shocked by any of this here. Uh, is this our... Ah, uh, this is our um, little secret air version. So not only can you have a chance to get, like, the Prismatic Seeker, they have secret rare versions of these cards, too, and so forth. Yeah, that Gishi one got bought out for the secret rare, I see. And then, of course, secret rare version of that got bought out. Interesting. The multiple rarity system is always going to be an interesting thing. The Abyss Actor secret rare also got bought out. Huh. I do see the secret Sargass, though. Get it for $3.60. Okay. <laughs> sure. And then you can get boring old Sargass here for two twenty-five, and eight dollars and ten cents for this fantastic version of the card, and then the <laughs> the six seventy-five for the ultra. Oh, I cry every time. You get down here into the base rarity stuff, seventy-two cents, seventy-two cents, a um, dollar eight. Hello, okay. A super actually maintains some value here. But outside of that, yeah, Photon Hypernova looks like it's pretty much doing its job here. I was also curious to know how the Amazing Defenders was holding up. Two twenty-five for the big fire truck. Two twenty-five for the big doggo. And then the Minkanko actually ended up getting bought out. I guess this doesn't surprise me. This is projected to be the best one out of the whole set. And then Doggo, poor, like, this is amazing. Like, Fire Truck is a, basically a dollar, basically a dollar. And then the, the Mikongo is thirteen fifty. dollars uh, I love how your uh, Fire Force guys are worth more than these two together. Hmm. $2.25, $2.25. All right, all right. We got some, got some nice, the little star foil foiling in here really does help. Man, that, these cards look so good. And with the shatter foil going for them, I actually wish our sites that's got this. But you know, instead we get like the collectors rares, which I guess is a little bit of a fairer niche trade off. But I don't know. I do kind of wish getting versions of stuff like this would look relatively nice. But I guess like if you're a collector and you want to pick up the OCG versions, um, boxes of this stuff isn't isn't going to cost you a lot of money on the secondary. All right, uh, the t token three, ultra rare version of the token for what was it, World Chalice? This is the one that uh, Mr. McKnight Grisu gives you. One of these actually sold for $193. Let's take a moment to appreciate, you know, higher rarity tokens, you know, some of the price points that come with these cards, but like. <sighs> this this is crazy to me. Like, the token market is wild. And then I, I was like, oh, you know, if that one's crazy, what's going on here? Yeah, you got a token 02 for the Nibiru. This is $186 with $20 shipping just to get you an ultra Nibiru token. No, no, I don't think I will. 
I also pulled this up because this was funny. I uh, I love looking at like the the PSA market, some of the random stuff. I did a random search and this popped up. I was like, you can get a nine point five super. <laughs> yeah, you heard me say that right. A nine point five super for seventy dollars. Now talk about just like bulk sending in to get cards graded. I this is just one of those hilarious things that you ask yourself, you're like, why would you, why would you spend the money on this? And the answer is you wouldn't, <laughs> I, this is an absolute craze. I also saw that the Puri mat, yes, this was the official Puri mat here. Um, this is like the happy memories, um, all of the, like the little happy particular things for Puri. Uh, it's a really, really happy little guy here. These were available on eBay. I think I saw 90 and I saw some other listings that were floating about the, uh, and what was it, $89 mark. So you're, you're going to be within that $90 range for the most part if you want to pick up one of these. But do with that info what you will. I'm not a super big fan of this mat, but I can understand why people do like their little cute things. All right. And then this has been on eBay for, I don't actually know how long. Um, this was a prototype token or something. I uh, evidently, this is wild, but this, a uh, lot of pictures here. These are for $5,000 for this. I think this is a little bit expensive. I, I don't care if it's a prototype or not, but this, uh, this definitely caught my interest. And I was like, whew, man, that uh, not only is it, you know, 11 years old, but for that price point, I I think we're I think we're getting a little bit out of hand here. Arch Nemesis Escantos. We're down to 22 listings for this guy now. Hear me out here. I understand you know summoning conditions, and he has been on the up and up for quite some time. Near Mint did flip over at 20, 15, and 14 for the most part here. Um, yeah, definitely some mileage on this guy, but to be honest with you, I think that these are going to calm down. Um, hopefully, uh, if not a reprint will come through and push this card down, but ooh, it's definitely up there. Ultimate Raigekis. Ah, uh, man, these are consistent 130s, 130s. Last sold in 1016, 1013 here. Uh, got some cheaper versions on the market. See, if I'm going to play the card, I'm fine with the light plays. To be honest, 94 bucks definitely seems a lot better than 130 for a near mint. You know, especially once again, if it's something that I'm going to play, I'm perfectly fine with that. You get a German copy here for uh, uh, 110. Okay, Don Zalug, the old Lost Arts, uh, fifty dollars, fifty dollars, thirteen bucks. Um, you get German copies, thirteen bucks. Good Italians for 13s, Italians. Uh, the uh, only English copies on the market are $50. Oh, actually, no. Nah. I don't know if that's a way to not tell which language that is. All right, but yeah, the only English copies on the market are 50 bucks. Hmm, that's interesting. Cyber Angel Eda 10s. Uh, been a little while since I've looked at these. Huh, $3 and 14 or $13. Hmm. That's a wee little bit of a big price difference there. You can get Italian copies here for four dollars. Yeah, for the most part, you looks like you're looking about four dollars post shipping. Eh, you love to see it, I suppose. The Ben Tens, these have been up and up for I like how this just goes, but like your your latest sales are what nine, seven, and six. Yeah, seven dollars. Okay, yeah, you're um still seven bucks. That's Way cheaper than the little pie chart there, it says. Soul Drains for <laughs> the funsies. 12s, 13s, and 16s. Okay. You are uh, you're pretty up and up here, actually. Not really surprised. Okay. Uh, Gorgon, Empress of the Evil Eye. Up, up, and uh, still $139 on market price. It's still a little bit expensive. $120. Ugh. That's expensive. Uh, Cersei L's at sevens and then dollars. Yeah, you got plenty of cheap copies on the market still for these. And then the flying elephant, the big, big elephant in the room. Uh, five bucks still. I'm glad to see that these did calm down though. There was a point where these were expensive for no real reason. 
Well, oh, that's your market. What do you guys think? Please, comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I will see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace. Patrons, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.